Hello YouTube, Tim here and I'd like to share with you absolutely my favorite bow that I have yet made and I think the most beautiful one as well. Another Ottoman Turkish style bow covered in burgundy pleather, the ends and handle painted red with a very, very lovely, if I do say so myself, flower design painted on the handle and on the kassans. I think it's probably the nicest bow that I've made. I love it. Now obviously if you shoot with this you're going to rub off some of the finish. Fact one, if you're holding it, really you're not going to be rubbing off too much of the actual bow itself. You're going to just be shooting just above the handle area. However, in the event that you want to protect it, you can always go ahead and wrap it with a little bit of extra leather, something like this. That's not going to hurt anything. You're really not adding very much thickness to the bow. But there you go. So if you want, you can do something like that. If you find that awkward, you don't have to, but it just depends on if you're concerned, if you're really uh, worried about it, then yeah, that's definitely a good way to go. Just wrap the handle gently. There you go. No harm. Ultimately, if you were doing traditional flight shooting with a flight bow, that's one of the sorts of things that you would do to use the proper grip you need to build up the handle to the point where you could hold it with several fingers almost like that so that the seeper, the overdraw device, will go past rather than if you hold it with a traditional normal grip like this, you, you couldn't wear the overdraw device. It's like a plate sitting on top of your hand. But let's just go and shoot the bow and see what happens, shall we? Feels good. Get the wrap nice and tight there so that won't interfere at all. Knocked. My homemade acrylic thumb ring. Hitting the target, that's pretty good. As always, my shooting is not the important part. The interesting part is this spectacular, what I, I'm sorry if, you know, I don't mean to be prideful, but I'm very pleased with it. Normally I'm not fully satisfied with what I do, but in this case I'm very, very well satisfied. I know there are things that I can improve on and things that I will do differently next time, but I've learned a lot from this bow, both what paints I like, how to apply a nice glossy finish, how to get everything just so, the making of the sias was nice. These were the original first birch plywood sias that I made. Everything about the bow is pretty spot on. I love it. Including the, the brace height, which is about seven inches, maybe seven and a half inches. This is a nice bow, a very lovely bow, and this is going to uh, actually another Turk, not in Turkey, but I hope he'll appreciate it. I think he'll find it lovely and very appropriate. So, thank you very much for watching YouTube. I enjoy so much making and showing these things with you guys, and I hope you enjoy it as well. Come again soon.